So let's talk about sorting values in an array. So one of the valuable things with an array is that you can have a variable with multiple values in it. So you can do this for things such as containing a list of names of people that may be attending an event or doing something. So you can have you know people equals Bob and Sue and Marge and Tim and John, so on and so forth. So this one variable can have multiple values. Then what you can do with that is you can do things such as sorting. So if you want to print out a list, of the names in alphabetical order, you can use the sort function to sort the array. If you want to sort them in reverse alphabetical order, you can use the R sort function. So this can be valuable if you're grabbing uh, if you're grabbing values out of something like a database. So you're going to a database and based on certain criteria, you're going to pull out people's names. Well, when it goes to the database, it's just going to pull out names as it comes to those names in the database. And then you want an easy way to read through those names. So you can pull the names out of the database, dump those names into an array, then you can sort the array alphabetically, and then print out that sorted array. So this is one of the things that makes arrays very valuable in the real world. For any kind of thing where you're printing out lists or doing that type of thing, uh, arrays just make life really simple. So with that, let's go over to the computer and I can show you how to both uh, sort in alphabetical order and sort in reverse alphabetical order an array. So we here we have a simple PHP script that I've that I've titled array sort.php. And again, as we always do, we open with the PHP tag. From there, we're going to create the variable for the array, and then we're going to set the value of the array. So for this, again, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be sorting names. That's kind of a standard thing that you could do with an array. And so we're going to create the variable name dollar sign names. We are going to set that to be equal. We're going to use the array function, and then we're going to create this array of multiple names. Now, again, in a real programming world, this array would most likely be, can be created by going to a database and pulling out names or going to a file and pulling out names. But here, we're simply just plugging in those names to make life a little bit easier. So we do array in order to create the array, and then do parentheses, single quotation mark, and then we, put, we start putting in names. Bob, close single quotation mark, remember the comma, remember the comma, single quotation mark, next name, close, comma, single quotation mark, next name, close, comma, so on and so forth. And you can make this list Oh, just about as long as you want to make it. Uh, then at the end, do you remember here, there is no parenthesis. So the final parenthesis is here. There's no parenthesis at the end. Or there's no, I'm sorry, there's no comma at the end. There is a closing parenthesis. Uh, and then we close with this semicolon. From there, what we're going to do, just to show you that this array exists in its current condition, we are going to use the print r function, print underscore r, and we are going to do parentheses. We are going to feed it names. We're going to feed it the variable names, close parentheses, semicolon. And so what this will do is it'll print out the array as it currently is. So we can see that this is how it currently is. We're going to put a break in there like we normally do so it makes it easier to read in the web browser. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the sort function. So what this is going to do is this is going to sort the array alphabetically. So we do sort, open parentheses, we dump in the variable that we're dealing with, the array that we're dealing with. So dollar sign names, close parentheses, and then semicolon. So what this is going to do is this is going to sort these values alphabetically. Then what we're going to do now is we're going to use that print r function like we did before, and we're going to print out the array as it looks now after it's been sorted. Then past that, we're going to do the break again, put this on a new line. Now we're going to use the r sort function. So sort sorts alphabetically, r sort sorts reverse alphabetically. Then we do parentheses, again, feed it, the, feed it the array that we're dealing with, close parentheses, semicolon. And then finally, again, we're going to print underscore r function for this array to show how the array currently looks, and it should be in reverse alphabetical order. Now, if we go over to a web browser, again, we type in Silicon Dojo, we can do type in array sort. 
And here we go. And so this is the output of this particular script. So as we can see, the first time we use print underscore r to print out the array, we see its array, and we see Bob is in the first position, Sue the second, Ted the third, Ralph, which is obviously alphabetically uh, before Ted, right? So this is this is basically how we put it in in the script. Then when we sort alphabetically, we can now see Bob is in the first position, Fred is in the second position, Marge, Mark, Ralph, Sue, and Ted. So obviously this has been sorted alphabetically. Then for the reverse alphabetical order, if we take a look at that, R sort. Now Ted is in the beginning, Sue, Ralph, Mark, Marge, Fred, and Bob. And so this is how the array originally looked. This is how it looked after it was alphabetically sorted, and this is how it looks after it was reverse alphabetically sorted. All of that is done with this very simple code. Again, we create the array and we set the values. We use print underscore r to print out the array. We then sort, so it's sort, parentheses, and the, uh, the array in order to sort it, print out the results, r sort to reverse sort, print R to print out the results and so that's how this code works. So that's really all there is to sorting values in an array. There actually is a little bit more to this, but I think it might get a little confusing for people, especially if you're watching this level of class. So if you're interested more in sorting and arrays, I would definitely say you should you should look it up and do some research. But this gives you an overall idea on how to sort an array. Now, this may not seem very important right now. You sit there, you look at it, you go, okay, you're sorting a couple of names. That doesn't really seem like that big a deal. But do remember, what PHP primarily does is it basically pushes and pulls data. You take data from a form or from a file or from a database, you put it into a database generally, and then what you're doing is you're creating reports. Really, like, you know, 80% of what most PHP scripts do is they create reports. And so an important thing that you have to do when you create a report is create a report that makes sense for people to be able to read and look at. So simply by being able to do something like sorting the information alphabetically, that just makes that report so much easier to read uh, for whoever has to deal with it in the business environment. So something like sorting an array is one of those things in PHP that seems very small but once you start building out larger projects you realize oh this very small thing actually is incredibly important so that's all there is to sorting the values in an array and that's why it matters